All right, I'm starting up streaming again. Ran into problems with uh, OBS crashing, uh, crashing with the overlay, so I'm just going to drop the overlay. Kind of a bummer, but oh well. I got. Hopefully this time I will have much less dropped frames. Stream. If you're watching this live. If you're watching the archive. There shouldn't be any dropped frames at all. So let's finish up the plot here and talk to Commander Udina. Or Ambassador Udina. Commander. Councillor Udina said you'd be coming. If you'll follow me, the council is already in session. All right. We've got our own problems, Councillor. Earth is not in this alone. But Earth was the first council world hit. By our reports, it faces the brunt of the attack. By your reports. Ahem. The reports are accurate. Earth was attacked by the Reapers. He did not say the words. We've dismissed these claims. And it's just the beginning. We need your help. Everything you can spare. Each of us faces a similar situation. Even now, the Reapers are pressing on our borders. If we lend you our strength to help Earth, our own worlds will fall. We must fight this enemy together. And so we should just follow you to Earth? Even if we were to unite our fleets, do you really believe we could defeat the Reapers? Yes. I don't expect you to follow me without a plan. Counselors, we have that plan. A blueprint created by the Protheans during their war with the Reapers. A blueprint for what? We're still piecing it together. But it appears to be a weapon of some sort. Capable of destroying the Reapers? So it would seem. The scales. It would be a colossal undertaking. No. I forwarded the plans to Admiral Hackett. The remnants of the human fleet are already gathering resources to begin construction. Our initial calculations suggest it is very feasible to build. If we work together. Have you considered that the Reapers destroyed the Protheans? What good did this weapon do? It was incomplete. There was a missing component, here. Something referred to only as the Catalyst. But they ran out of time before they could finish building it. Do you really believe this can stop the Reapers? Liara believes it can work, and so do I. And while I haven't always agreed with Udina, he's right about this. We need to stand together. Nice to see, now more nice to see than Udina ever. actually being a voice of reason and logic for once. The Reapers won't stop it, Earth. They'll destroy every organic being in the galaxy if we don't find a way to stop them. The cruel and unfortunate truth is that while the Reapers focus on Earth, we can prepare and regroup. We are convening a summit amongst our species. If we can manage to secure our own borders, we may once again consider aiding. I'm sorry, Commander. That is the best we can do. All right, so plan B is... Shepard, meet me in my office. I hope that's an offer of support. I'll be digging up what I can on this Prothean device, Shepard. So it, looks, so it looks like my objective is going to be basically finding missions to do elsewhere, relieve pressure on the council members' borders, so that we can fight together, so that we can take Shepard. them down, band together. We may have a spot on the council, but humanity will always be considered second rate. How can they be so blind? They're scared, and they're looking out for themselves. Our people are scared, and we are looking out for them the best we know how. Counselor? Commander, I can't give you what you need, but I can tell you how to get it. I'm listening. Primarch Fedorian called the war summit, but we lost contact with him when the Reapers hit Palavin. Those meetings won't proceed without him. The Normandy is one of the few ships that can extract Primarch Fedorian undetected. I told you this would happen, and you did nothing. We can argue the past later, if you like. But the leaders of this summit will be the ones deciding our future. The fate of our fleets, where they fight, and with whom. A grateful Primarch would be a tremendous ally in your bid to unite us. 
We're at war, and you want me to play politician? If it gets you what you need, what does it matter? <laughs> Our latest intelligence says that the Primarch was moved to a base on Palavin's largest moon. I've done all I can to help. The rest is up to you. I mean, I'm okay with doing the extra extraction and that sort of thing. However, I do feel okay with rubbing the... Uh... Thing. The Council wanted me to tell you we've chosen to uphold your Spectre status. And various resources will be made available to you. Oh, the Reapers, we have to dismiss <sighs> these claims. That went well. It's a start. I'll talk to the others in the meantime. See if we can support this summit. Move things along. Thanks. Ah, equal split of Renegade and Paragon. Alright, so I guess I'll wrap up here for this evening. I'll try to edit this into my next episode. Last episode. Next time, let's head back to the ship. Ready to hit, go to Bavellan. I'm gonna keep all these bits in this ep this one episode. Talk to Embassy offices, Dick office, the Earth Counselor offices. Wait a little more dialogue. Let's go. Through, let's get through this dialogue before we step back out. The council, you saved their lives, and for what? Apologies that boil down to maybe later. If we don't figure out something, maybe later will be an epitaph on a mass grave of eleven billion. I know what I'm gonna do. What are you gonna do? Humanity has created some goodwill in the galaxy. Now we cash in our chips. I will get what funding I can, what materials I can, and spread the message. Help the humans, help yourselves. I'll institute a draft in our colonies and order all civilian ships armed. Work on the Prothean device will be around the clock. Arming mean, civilian ships is normally iffy, but under the circumstances, it's really the only way to protect yourself from the, or have some chance of a fight against the uh, Reaper. Did you know a lot of people on Earth? Many. It's monstrous to think of them being snuffed out, of course, but the part that gets me is Arcturus. I must know, I must have known most of the Alliance Parliament on a first name basis. I required a second VI just to track all their birthdays and anniversaries. Rose Garden stuff, but to have it all gone. Hmm. You're a Citadel counselor. Don't you have options when the others block you like this? With Parliament destroyed and Shastri gone, I have more power than any human in history. But today, you saw how little that is. Rest assured, I will not be counted out long. I know I can move mountains. Do not lose sight of that, because the task before us is moving planets. Anderson would be proud, so long as you deliver. You think you can do that? You need a carrot or a stick to drive a mule, and humanity has neither. Look at the Irish. Our armada is tied down fighting or fleeing. And with Earth's calm buoys gone, our economy is reduced to an IOU. But leave that part to me. I will lean on our colonies for all their worth, and I can broker enough trade to repair and resupply. That's good to hear. Fleet. Any news from Earth? There is constant news. All of it bad. The Reapers are destroying satellites and the old nuclear missile silos, along with everything else that could help. We have a handful of quantum entanglers spread out over the continents. All other communication is cut. What's your read on the counselors? Any angles I could pursue? Tavos is a diplomat and compromiser, but she's wrapped up in defending Asari space like a mother panther. 
Valorn is out of his depth. The Salarians like their wars won before they start. They're frightened now. Use that. And Sparatus, I'd take what he offers. It's strange days when the Turians are the least hostile to humans. And there's a need there. Oh. Something. I should go. I'll be here. Unfortunately, this isn't really setting up any side quests. Like, I wish, there, wish it would. I said number of guns I had before. Commander Shepard, hope the Citadel's been treating you well. I'm still just trying to keep things in order. Feels like I'm fighting a losing battle. All right, same discussion as last time. We both have jobs to do, Bailey. I suggest we do them. Yep. Good talking to you, Shepard. I figured, hey, I'm checking in on the way out. Commander Shepard, Kalisa bent seen in Al Jalani. I am not going to run again interrupt you. When the Reapers attacked. How do you justify running away while millions of people on Earth die? Is that the best you not can punch you. from the Alliance? I came to get help for Earth. For everyone. What about all the people suffering while you play politics with the Council? What about them? How can you stand here while our families die? What are you going to do? Kalisa, we're doing everything. Glad I waited. Before they cut the feeds, there were so many dead. I'm gonna stop the Reapers or die trying, but I need your help. Keep asking the hard questions. Don't let the Council forget about Earth. I will. Thank you, Commander. We haven't always seen eye to eye, but I'm glad you're on our side. Hey, Commander. Liara told me the Council's not interested in helping us. Not Something entirely like true, that. but... <laughs> Why would they? Look at this place. There's no war here. People are whispering about it. They're talking about it. But they don't really believe it. I take it this is your first time here with the elite of the galaxy. I've been to the Citadel, but never up here on the Presidium. It's... not right. It looks pretty, calm and peaceful. But it's not right. It's all just an illusion. It was peaceful. Once. But was it? Really? I mean, when push comes to shove, they're just gonna turtle up. Oh, but don't hit them too, right? They'd rather believe in this. Than By the way, it's the, the same voice actor who places the Iron Bull. They're in for a rude awakening. Every species will fall one by one if they don't work with us. No shit. Can't believe it's even up for debate. So, you still want to go back to Earth? Hell yeah, but... But? You were right. So was Anderson. We can't stop them alone. Besides, looks like you're going to have your hands full convincing these pendejo politicians to help us. And I'm up for it. Whatever it takes. Glad to hear it. I'm going to head down to some of the lower levels where they keep it real. You got some spare time? You should come and find me. Maybe I'll do that. All right. By the way, interesting bit. All that Paragon there, I, they can't just be from the start of this game. I'm suspecting a bunch of that is carried over from the last couple of
The Citadel races have classified the known variants of Reapers into four types. Capital ships are sovereign class Reapers. Cannibals are... Okay. Right. Too easy to really talk to Udina. Welcome, Commander Shepard. One moment. I'll check back in with Ashley before we head out to our next mission. I like these little panning shots on the loading screens. They work a lot better and feel better as, as establishing shots than the little that. Now arriving at Huerta Memorial Hospital. Alright, so shop. Welcome to Serta. Serta is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. Thank you for coming to Serta. How can we help you? Let's get the med gel upgrade. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. All profits from sales go to help new medical research. CERTA is a non-profit organization dedicated to the medical needs of all sapient life. Thank you for coming to CERTA. How can we help you? <laughs> all profits from sales go to help you do medical research. I think I will give Ashley... Copy of Tennyson. giving Ashley poetry by a pacifist like Whitman but it might be a little off under the circumstance. Hello again, Commander. Here to see our patient? How is Ashley doing? The head trauma was severe, right. but we reduced the swelling. These types of injury can go... You can go see her if you... Keep up the good work, Doctor. You too, Commander. Hopefully talking to her will make it so I can go in and actually see her now. Man, I wish you could pop in and actually would left, but that's all right. Oh, uh, well. Would 
We're at this little farm. We killed a few enemy scouts, and it's, it's quiet. The shuttle gets hauled away for support, so I'm there for the night. The humans get me dinner, show me around. One of them, this freckled farm girl, maybe 15. She wants to hear all about what it's like to be a commando. You were probably the most exciting thing ever to land at her farm. Yeah. And she's saying she wants to be a pilot, and I say that life on a ship is grimy. And she asks if I'd like to use their shower. Going by my records, you'd been on active duty for more than three weeks? Probably no real chance to get clean in all that time. Pretty much, yeah. It's gonna be a pain in the butt to the whole story here, isn't it? Welcome, Commander Shepard. Leave for one moment. Doc 24. Let me how this time this will probably be where we'll wrap up for the evening. Moment. I'm going to head back aboard the Normandy. We have our mission. Very Max Payne esque performance. Liara, can I help you? I've been forwarding the Turian Counselor information on the Prothean device. It can't be built without Council support, but he's not budging until their Primarch is safe. I figured. I know. Are you alright? I didn't get what you'd call a good night's rest. 
There's more to it than that, isn't there? What's really bothering you? When the Reapers hit, I could hear people screaming in the streets below me. We left a lot of them behind. There's no way for you to save them all. But I know you're doing everything you can, and you'll get back there in time to help. I hope you're right. Don't blame yourself, Commander. Commander Shepard, I'm Specialist... Oh. Uh, I, I beg your pardon. I thought you were alone. I was just leaving. Commander Shepard, I'm Comm Specialist Samantha Trainer with Alliance R&D. I was part of the team retrofitting the Normandy after you turned it over to the Alliance. There weren't many of us aboard when the Reapers hit. Slow down, Specialist Trainer. You're doing fine. Thank you. I worked in a lab. I never thought I'd be serving on a ship. Why don't you tell me about the retrofits? The ship's in line with Alliance regs now, and it has new, top-of-the-line, quantum entanglement nice. communicators. In fact, Admiral Anderson had intended to use the Normandy as his mobile command center. That's no longer an option. Yes, I heard he chose to stay and fight. I in any event, I'm honored to serve under you, Commander. For as long as you need me, that is. The only sent me and she's obsessed to oversee the fish. retrofits. Shepard, some of our systems require further testing, and Specialist Trainer has been extremely effective during installation. I would prefer that she remain. Got it, Edie. Oh, wait, since when does a virtual intelligence make requests? Edie's an AI. Fully self-aware. Oh, I knew it. I knew Joker was lying. Jeff requested that I pretend to be a simple VI to protect myself. I apologize oh. for the deception. Thanks, ED, and I apologize for all those times I talked about how... Mm, attractive <laughs> your voice was. Anyway, shall I give you a tour? I think you'll be impressed by the new upgrades. In the CIC, you'll find the galaxy map where you can set the Normandy's destination. You can also check your messages at your private terminal. The War Room houses a strategic command center for mission-specific intel and war analysis. The shuttle bay contains an armory where you can modify your equipment right. between missions. Finally, Liara has set up a lot of hardware down in the old XO office on Deck 3. I think she's claimed that room. And there you are. Still the same ship as before, it just flies what? Alliance colors now. Speaking of which, I believe Admiral Hackett would like to speak to you at the VidCom. Well, before we wrap up this episode, oh. Commander, Udina updated me on your meeting with the Council. Sounds like they're running scared. We did present them with a lot of unknowns. They're feeling threatened and want immediate solutions, not theories. Theories are all we've got right now. What's your plan? I'm trying to get the Turian Primarch for a summit meeting with the Asari and Salarians. I'll bypass the Council and appeal directly to their leadership. That's good, I like it. This is where we start laying the groundwork for our counterattack. Unfortunately, we don't have a whole lot to back it up right now. Then build alliances. Gather everything and everybody you can for the cause. What about the Prothean device? Find me people who can help build it, and if you can't, I'll take ships, soldiers, supplies, whatever you can get. We need to keep hitting the Reapers across every theater of war they open. Buy us time to figure out the device. And when it's finished? Assuming it ever is, we pool all our resources. Think of it as a giant armada for delivering the device, when the Reapers are most vulnerable. The stronger you can make that armada, the better the chances of punching through. What about Earth, sir? We'll just have to hope Anderson and what's left of the Alliance forces can hold out until we've dealt with the enemy. I understand. Good. Then make it happen, Commander. I'll be expecting regular updates on your progress. Hack it out. Alright. Finally! Walk to this ship now. So, we have my communications room. Fill out like a transporter console. We have the... 
um, plasma, not so much ball, but plasma circle decor there. Very Star Trek Next Generation. I do this tour before we uh, wrap this up. We have our war room here. Very kind of cramped, claustrophobic, and confined. Kind of new. Oh. Right. Alright, the raw military forces. We got the F, we have Diana providing propaganda. We have, uh, we have us on the Normandy. Resources. All right, she's our back. All right, that's good to hear. Everything's kind of hit, hit or miss right now. Conference room. No chairs. Bar stool. Commander, the Alliance has found a new Cerberus lab on Sanctum. Admiral Hackett would like you to investigate. So, party mission be your story quest. And... Side quest. Tutorial stuff. Right. Statement under Decent issue plan. Our new variants. Ah. Right. I believe it's one of the DLC missions. Prime one. Found the shuttle bay. Customize my uh, weapon loadouts. Rather, my armor loadout. Build a gear. Press blues. Form blues. Rubbies. There, there's more formal blues. Now that's they call spec op uniform. Uni Alright. 
five is lounge wear. Yeah, no. I like this one for the casual set. All right, so that's my health boost, boost my shield. Generation. Boost my melee damage. What the effect of shield generation mean? Let's go for the unified red trim. Oh, unified trim. And I like me. Lieutenant Steve Cortez, shuttle pilot. We've got news about our supply chains, Commander. Good work, Lieutenant. What have you got? Dios! Straight to business without even a hello? You two need to chill out. So you do care, Mr. Vega. Is <laughs> that Mr. Vesa talking again? So what's happening with our supply chains, Lieutenant? Alliance procurement chains are in chaos, but the Citadel's economy is still running. I can network to Citadel retailers. You can view inventory and make purchases Good right from this console. When I network to a new store, I'll let you know. It does cost more to coordinate delivery to the Normandy, so it's cheaper to buy supplies when you're there. So, you're my shuttle pilot, but you're setting up procurement chains? I wasn't assigned as Normandy's pilot. Not much need for one on a dry dot ship. But I was overseeing the retrofit of the cargo hold. I'm quite familiar with the operation and maintenance of the UT-47 Kodiak and the M-44 Hammerhead. In my experience, it made sense for me to take over as shuttle pilot when we left Earth. Especially given Mr. Vega's love of mid-air collisions. <laughs> to save the day, Pendejo. <laughs> I'm also responsible for uh, logistics. You deserve I'm that. Sure the armory and shuttle are properly stocked and maintained. You were stationed on Earth. Do you have family there? I'm an only child. Lost my parents years ago. I had a husband Big character. Was stationed at cool. Ferris Fields. The collectors took out the whole colony. I'd rather not talk about it. Do you maintain this armory? I share that duty with our illustrious Mr. Vega. Though I believe the only weapon he really cares to maintain is himself. You know you love the show, Esteban. <laughs> First retrofit we did was to move the armory down from deck two. I'm not sure what Cerberus engineers were thinking. Now you get off the elevator, pick your gear, and head right into the shuttle. Just like the original Normandy. Welcome back to the Alliance, Commander. The Cortez Professional Scrounger. How long have you been with the Alliance? About 10 years. I enlisted in First Fleet serving on the SSV Hawking, flying F-61 Tridents mostly. I love the Trident. It practically dances in low atmo. I spent as much time tinkering on my bird as flying her. Got a bit of a reputation. So you can fly fighters and fix them? Yeah. And I got a knack for procurement, too. They were grooming me for CAG, but my skill set made me more valuable commanding a flight deck. They assigned me to the Normandy retrofit team about five months ago to oversee all cargo bay modifications. The Kodiak seems a bit different. Good eyes, Commander. This is the UT-47A Kodiak. It's got an upgraded ESO core and prototype stealth technology based on the Normandy nice. design. For quick drops, I can get you in and out virtually Gekka? undetected. She flies like a brick. <laughs> that's why you need a good pilot. That's good to hear. What happened to the M44 Hammerhead? <laughs> I was sent to the tech labs for a retrofit. To afford mobility with such a small ESO core, its design sacrificed armor plate. The lab engineers were and trying to And it was... That. After the Reaper invasion, those labs are probably... Oh, just that's poor Hammerhead. I hardly knew ye. What do you mean I knew you for one piece of DLC? The good work. Yes, Commander.
Okay, so got renegade for just for being professional. Interesting. Hey, Shepard. How'd it go with the council? Same as usual. Non-committal. Unhelpful. Bet they still wanted you to help them out, no? Yep. We want to rescue a Turian Primark from Palavan. <sighs> Sounds like fun. Never been to the Turian homeworld. Time for everything. <sighs> you come down here for something? Or are you just looking? <sighs> Oh, both of these are flirtatious, and I'm trying to be somewhat monogamous. It's my ship. I go where I want and talk to whoever I want. Fair enough. Not sure what there is to talk about. You already know my service record. I don't, actually. I didn't have access to personnel records when we met. Right. Forgot about that. Well... Think you can dance and talk at the same time? Oh, I can dance. Okay, Lola. Let's do this. <laughs> Don't let my good looks fool you, Vega. I got my share of scars. <laughs> you remind me of my old CO. Oh, yeah? And who was that? Captain Tony. He was a hard-ass son of a bitch, but a good leader. Was? Died. With most of my squad. Protecting a civilian colony from a collective I've never renegade interrupts here. And the colony? It was either them, or the intel we had on the collectors. Intel we could have used to destroy him. I chose the intel. Sorry. That's a tough call. The best part was, we didn't really need the intel in the end. Because you were out saving the galaxy by taking down the entire Collector homeworld. You didn't know. You can't blame yourself, Vega. Who says I'm blaming myself? Just a guess. Are you a shrink too? No, but that stunt back on Mars was reckless. You're lucky to be alive. So? So, maybe you don't care if you live or die. Or maybe, <clears throat> I'm just willing to do whatever the fuck it takes to end this goddamn war. <clears throat> Maybe you are. But if you're half as good as I think you are, we need you alive. Thanks for the pep talk. Anytime. Hey. Thanks for the dance, Lola. <laughs> Lola, huh? You kind of look like a Lola. <laughs> you're cute. So I'll let you get away with it. For now. That's it. Now you made me blush. I wasn't meaning to flirt, but oh well. Alright. Got some stuff out of that. Let's customize my cabin a little bit. Or let's see what our options are. Let's stretch this episode a little bit longer. Like, but hey. My ship. Our terminal. Armor locker, so I could do armor customization up here. Sound system. 
tunes. Hey, he has one of my squaddies appearances. Oh, two of them at the moment. System down. Down. Okay, ah, there's the okay, there's the ships. Normandy and Burian ship and all that picked up. The deck. I believe this is where the where the R's quarters are. Say hello to her and explore down here. Pick up two crew, newer, crew, more crew members will visit their portions of the ship. Memorial Wall. There's Kaiden. Imagine if you didn't get the good ending in the last game, the wall would be a lot more full. The hour's cabin is this way. Mods. Commander Shepard, it's a pleasure to see you again. You're the drone from the Shadow Broker's ship. Dr. Tassoni now refers to me as Glyph, instead of Info Drone, 95% of the time. If you have a moment, I'd like to draw your attention to a terminal in her office. Hmm? It analyzes information packages. If you find any useful data, I can research upgrades for you. And what should I be looking for? I'll inform you if you found relevant data. When you do, return to this terminal for your choices. In the meantime, Dr. Tassoni would like to speak with you. Have a pleasant day. Thank you, Cliff. Meeting with the council didn't go too well, huh? It was less than ideal. Yeah, I'm shocked. At least the council can't deny That's the Reapers fair. exist. But I'm not sure how much comfort that is while they bicker over which portion of the galaxy to save. <laughs> I'm flattered, I think. How you doing? Looks like you brought more than just that drone from your ship. A few things were necessary. I'd be a very silent shadow broker That's without fair. data feeds. So you have access to your resources? What I can get, we'll need it to research this Prothean device. Until we understand precisely what it does, it's far too dangerous to use. Did the Protheans actually complete this weapon? You mean, I... will it work? They wouldn't have poured their last resources into this device if they thought otherwise. But we really need to find out just what kind of weapon they left us. It'd be nice to know we're not kids playing around with a loaded gun. Absolutely. The damage it could cause if it backfired is unthinkable. This will be difficult even for us. If something happens on a mission, if either one of us are hurt, I'll always remember that tour of the Normandy. But let's be honest, Shepard. It's been more than a half a year. Should we continue where we left off? 
I'd like that more than anything, Liara. Good. I was getting worried. There are a lot of reasons I was happy to see you on Mars. I'd like that list, but later. There's yeah. so much left to do. I'm working with Edie. Hopefully we can discover what the Protheans left for us. But I'm looking forward to talking about something other than business. Maybe later. All right. This terminal contains non-essential correspondence from your allied forces. Dr. Tassoni has granted you access. Okay. That's the protein reef. <laughs> more bullets, more tanky. Running low on bullets a lot. Please enjoy your day. Fuck. Backwards? Commander. Everything okay down here, Doctor? The Alliance team cleaned up and restocked, but it's still my old med bay. Feels like home. Welcome back. Thank you. Let's waste no time. If I may, I'd like to examine you. Nothing wrong with me, is there? No, but we should keep an eye on all those cybernetic implants Cerberus grafted into you. Expensive stuff bringing me back. And worth every penny. Let's just make sure everything is okay. Yes, a checkup never hurts. Just no scalpel this time, Doc. Alas, to my great disappointment, it is nothing invasive. I'm just going to run some diagnostics on your implants, and it'll take a few readings. The procedure we did for your scarring has produced a lovely synthetic protein overlay, and your body has accepted the implants quite hear? nicely. You did better. Sure didn't come cheap. That's it. You're the picture of health. You never mentioned any of your family. None to speak of, really. I'm the last of a prestigious line of medical professionals. The Alliance is my spouse, and you're all my children. I'm blessed with many close friends. But with each Alliance vessel taken, I lose one or two. We need to end this war. How's your inventory of meds? The med bay was fully stocked before you left Earth. We should be good for a long time, even given the amount of fire you take each day. Do you ever regret working for Cerberus? We didn't work for them. We used them. If I were to feel anything, it would be guilt. We took their money, took their best people, took their best ship. We used them to defeat the Collectors, and now we are using their resources against them. So no, I don't regret it one You are. Put it that way, neither do I. I'll see you around, Doctor. Take care, Shepard. Oh, with that. Back to. I see. The longer episode, because we're doing the up our tour of the Citadel and finishing up our tour of the station.
Super Nebula. All right, let's take a look real quick. Primed. Oh, actually, one more thing to do. Almost forgot. Haven't talked to the Joker yet. Hey, Commander. You know, I had my doubts about the Council. But after years of ignoring their warnings, they're finally willing to step up and tell you they just can't <laughs> help. They're doing everything they can. Do they at least validate our parking? Well, let me know if you want me to get them on the channel and then hang up on them. You know, for old time's sake. Uh, I like to shake the head Well, do they validate our parking. They kind of like the idea that the Citadel is just dickish enough that even in the state of emergency that they're going to make us pay for dock space. Alright. Rest. Protein artifact there. Kerberos lab over there. This one, I believe, will get us another side quest character, so let's do the Exodus Cluster first. First. Aha! Uh -huh. Or acid out of this. Let's drop in.
Let us kill this loadout. Both their mods. Double up yet, and okay, double up his frag window. Boost is for land dirt side, and next time we'll take up. We will see what Cerberus is up to. See you then.